Mayor Adams did not hold back today when asked about a decision by Chase Bank to shut down some of its ATMs in the city overnight, citing crime and vagrancy concerns. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas reports customers are not holding back either. This is exactly what Sonny Ng wanted to do last Tuesday night. But when he tried to enter this Chase ATM vestibule in Williamsburg, the only paper he got was this warning that for now, the once 24-hour ATMs will close at 10. The advantage of using Chase is that they have so many branches and ATMs, and so for it to close at night is kind of, um, yeah, kind of unbelievable. So Ng got online and complained to Chase in a tweet. The company replied, apologizing and saying they've decided to close some ATM vestibules not just at 10, but at 5 and 6 p.m. They even gave a reason rising crime and vagrancy in 24-7 vestibules. Uh, which I don't really buy because like, I've seen uh, vestibules where they have like private security guards before, and so it's not like there's no solution to it. A Chase spokesperson told CBS2 only a small number of previously 24-hour ATMs are closing after regular business hours. The company would not go into specifics about incidents that motivated their decision, but the NYPD recently tweeted that they're looking for some Someone who threw coffee in a woman's face at 3.40 a.m. in a chase at 40th and 8th. Those are all indicators when you have, uh, I think as you mentioned, when you have to lock up supplies, when you have to close early uh, because of people sleeping inside. Mayor Eric Adams said today the city is working to provide care to homeless people in need of help and also said the city needs to create an environment where people feel safe. People don't want to walk into the ATM and see someone urinating, see someone screaming and yelling. That's, people don't want to go through that. And that is what I am saying I need to stop because I don't want my ATM's closing down. I don't want people leaving our city. Have you noticed problems here with crime or vagrancy? No, not really. I mean, sometimes I have seen like a person that may be homeless, but you know, I, they don't bother me. We also talked to several other customers who say they'd like to know if Chase will cover their ATM fees if they have to use another bank's ATM at night. We asked, but haven't gotten an answer yet from Chase. In Midtown, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.